One of the best efficiency gains in working papers when creating files is to utilize the templates feature. Now, templates come in a variety of forms from templates manufactured and sold by Caseware, including the financials templates available, which include U.S. GAAP, Canadian ASPE, and international IFRS reporting standards, and the audit templates, which include the Audit International template and the CPA Canada audit template. Now, these templates are add-ons to working papers and are designed in the Case View Report Writer to be extremely robust and flexible to meet your financial reporting and audit needs. When they are installed, they appear in the Templates dialog, which can be accessed from the home screen by clicking on Templates or via Tools Templates from the menus. Now, we use the Templates dialog to create, edit, or modify existing registered templates. Icons for existing registered templates display in the view window, and we can click on an icon to select a template. Any templates that are currently unavailable because they've been deleted, moved, or their server is offline are indicated with a red X, and these templates cannot be edited. Now, as you can see here, I have a number of installed templates already in my templates dialog. You might also purchase a third-party template, which may or may not automatically appear in the templates dialog once installed. Or you may have created your own base files that you want to use as templates for your staff. For example, the internal audit template displaying here is an example of a file that I've added manually as a template. Now, templates can be added using Caseware Packager by executing a .cwp file. Those are files that we create and send out to you when we sell our template packages. Also, the Add button on the screen is used to add templates manually to your working papers installation. So if I click on Add here, I can drill down and locate either the AC or the AC underscore file to add as a template. And just like that, uh, oops, I was a little bit quick on my clicking there, so I'm just going to close that up and return back to where we were. So I clicked on it, and it actually opened up the template for me. We also have the ability to remove or uninstall templates. So we, again, would select the template by clicking on the icon, and then select Remove for manually added templates, or Uninstall for templates installed using the CWP file. Now, the file is not physically deleted from where it is stored. It is just removed from the selection in the templates function. Under that, we have edit. And we select edit to close the current file, if you're currently in a file, and open the highlighted template for editing. Once editing is complete, the file can be saved. Some people also like to recompress those. My preference is to leave the templates uncompressed. Now, this option allows those firms who wish to maintain a master template with customized settings or content to make firm level changes to settings and options and save the file. Once the changes are complete, the modified template can be redistributed to their users. The copy button makes a copy of the currently selected template at a specified location and immediately registers the new template. By default, the new template will have the file name, let me just click on copy here, copy of whatever the old template file name was. The name and location of the copy can be modified in this dialog that's currently displayed. And I'm just going to hit the cancel button instead. We would select properties to display the properties of a highlighted template, such as its name, file type, location, size, and content. The version of working papers this template is associated with is also listed here. Now, if I cancel this, I can also right click on a template, and we can view the properties of Add, Remove, Uninstall, or Edit Templates by right-clicking on the template icon and selecting the appropriate command. Now, down at the bottom, we have a couple items that are not generally used by the average user. First of all, Package. We click to run the Template Packager wizard and create a single compressed file called a Template Package. That's that CWP file that I referred to earlier. The package contains all the necessary files for a template to run properly. When a template package is subsequently launched, it will start an installation routine that places the full template package on the recipient's workstation. The template is also registered in the workstation so that it appears in the tools templates dialog that we're looking at right here. The wizard will guide the user through the steps to create a template package. Now, if you have a template package already, we can click Make Patch when we want to create and distribute small updates to our existing template installations. The template packager is launched and the guides 
will walk you through step by step to create the update patch. In this case, the wizard gathers only the updated external files such as scripts and style sheets and compresses them into a single compressed file, the CWP. It does not include the full client file, thus workstations on which the patch is installed must already have the full template installed. And that is the templates dialog. 